this morning session, we want to learn something on a question on probability. And questions on probability always the WASI and BEC you find a question on probability. And this is on a fair query. And for probability, we have events and we have sample space. The sample space is the set of possible outcomes. So always, if a frequent is stored once, the sample space becomes head and k. If the coin is tossed once, it's either you get a head or a k. So the formula for probability is number of events over number of sample space. This will guide you. The formula for probability is number of events over number of sample space. Where g is events and s is sample space. So if they say a fair coin is tossed once and they say find the probability of obtaining a head. The probability of obtaining a head, you choose a variable and you let it denote that probability. So maybe let D denote the probability of obtaining a head. You see, even though I haven't given you example of a coin being tossed once, but I want you to appreciate it. So if they say a coin is tossed once, the sample space becomes either you get a head or a tail. So head or tail. So the probability of obtaining a head, it becomes, so we are using D, it becomes number of events over number of sample space. And the head is how many? One. This n is number. Over number of sample space, we have about two. Now, let us move on to today's question. A fair pen is stored twice. So you take note of this. A fair pen is stored twice. Write down the set of possible outcomes. This is the same as sample space. What is the probability of obtaining i? Exactly two heads. I, I, no head. I, 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 at least one head. At least one head means, take note, at least one head means, it's either this or more. At least means something or more. A head and a tail. So let's take this question and solve it. So you first find your sample space of possible outcomes. And they say a coin is stored twice. So the sample space is either you get head, head. If you toss a fair coin is toss what twice. It's either you get head, head, tail, tail, or you get a head or a tail, and also tail and head. So this is the sample space, and it's what four. They are what four. The total sample space is what four. Ah, probability of obtaining exactly two heads. Exactly two heads. This means we are having one. Exactly two heads. We have only one to one. So you let maybe Jane always you choose a variable. Let Jane denote the probability of obtaining exactly heads. So then it becomes n g always write the formula over number of sample space. So exactly two heads is what? One. It's one. So one. Because head head to so exactly two heads is this. So it's one. 1 over, what is the total sample space? It's 4. So our answer is 1 over 4. If they said exactly two things, 
that one too, we have only one and it becomes 1 over 4. That's that we choose a variable to denote it. The second one, no head. No head. You see, we are having a head here. We don't have any head. But this one, we have head. We have head. So, no head. So, you will let, let D denote the probability of obtaining no head. Because we are having tail tail here. So it becomes Z, number of events over number of sample space. And no head. We are having this as our event, TT. It becomes, it's how many? One. Because this is one, two, three, four. And one over one, the sample space is four. So no head is one over four. The third one. At least one head. At least one head. It means one head or more. So we have one, two, and this we are having two heads. So this means we will get three. So you make emphasis on this, 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 at least one head. If they said at least one thing, that one too becomes this, this, and this. At least one thing. So at least one head. We make emphasis on this, this, and this. So, so I, 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 let M denote the probability of obtaining at least one head. So probability of M, it becomes N over G over N over S. So at least one head, at least, at least one head. You will list the events. We have head, 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 tail, and tail, head. There are how many? It's three. So it becomes three over, what is the sample space? 4. So 3 over 4. Let's move on to the last one. The probability of obtaining a head and a tail. A head and a tail at the same time. You see this one, we have head, head. We have tail, tail here. But this one, we have head and tail, tail and head. You see this one, we have head, head. Tail, tail. But this is head, tail, tail, head. So you make emphasis on this two. So let Q denote, let me choose Y, denote the probability of obtaining, obtaining a head and a tail. The sample space we have head head tail tail head tail and tail head is this one. Now, what is our events? Our events we have head tail and tail not head. Let's do our probability. It becomes number of events over number of sample space. You see how? I'm so you see. It's not always you should write this sample space here, but I don't know who is going to mark your paper. You can always list your sample space in every question. So we have number of events is what? One, two. We have two over number of sample space we have four. And probability we reduce it to its lowest thing. Take note. For every probability, we reduce it to its lowest term. So 2 goes here, 1. 2 goes here, 2. We have 1 over 2. Now let me write this one word so that it will guide you. Head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, tail, head. I wanted you to get it. That's why I was making more emphasis 
here. So this is a question on probability. That's a fair point. Thank you and we shall meet for the next session.